Hey, welcome back. So this is the final video for Onshape surface modeling. This is the exercise with the fillet patch. It was a very short video. So overall, what's going on is that we start off with this object here and we want to patch up this fillet, make it a little bit more smoother, where we align this portion here with this line here. So check it out. This is what we get at the end. This is what we start off with. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one, we're just creating a circle on a new on the top plane. And notice we're creating two coincidental points and one vertical point. So our top view. Go sketch. Top view. And for this one, we do want to show our origin. So let's go ahead and click show origin. And we're going to not click on the origin, but we're going to move our mouse on it to just create our circle right above it. And let's just create it here. And we will resize this. All right, so now for our points. So let's go ahead and make this center point coincidental on this line. Do not put it on this edge here. So it goes on the line. And then we're going to make the circle, once again, coincidental to this point here. So it'll enlarge itself. And we're going to change this name to Split Sketch. Let's check our three constraints. We have our two coincidental points and our vertical point, which is what we want. So we are good to go. Now for step three, we're going to go ahead and split some of our faces. So here's our split face feature. Select face. Now we're clicking our faces that we'll be working with. And that pretty much sums it up right there. And our entity to split with will be with a split sketch. Go ahead and select that check mark. For step four, we're creating a, another plane. We'll go to our top view. We'll click on plane right here. And we're going to be selecting our points. This point right here on the left side. Our other point here on the right. And finally, our center point here. For this one, we want to make this a three point. All right, so we click the check mark and here's our plane that we just created. Now for step five, we're going to split another face. So notice I clicked on split face or split face and our faces to split will be this one right here. Entities to split with, we'll be selecting plane number one, which is our three point plane that we just created. And go ahead and select the check mark. All right, now for step six, we are going to delete our faces. So let's click on this delete face feature. And for heel, we'll be using leave open. And now for delete faces, let's go ahead and select our five faces that we'll be deleting. One, two, three, four, and five. And go ahead and hit that check mark. So notice our before and after, we just opened up this area and created a cavity. So now our next slide. So in this case, now we're going to fill up our region that we just opened up. So let's go ahead and click on fill, which is right here. So in this drop down menu under offset surface. And go ahead and right click, select, and create selection. And for this one, make sure it's loop chain connected. So click on tangent connected and select loop chain connected. We'll just click on any of these edges and they'll all be selected. And let's go ahead and add selection. So notice all of our items are selected. We want to do merge with all and go ahead and click the check mark. So there it is. So we go back and we go forward. And we've just sealed our cavity. It'd be nice if we could just fix teeth like that. For step eight, you're selecting this region right here. And you'll be checking this area here. And notice that you'll get a value. Um, just select what answer is closest to this one. I apparently got this one a little bit wrong. So try it out. 